post build action sorry so let's configure the advanced step first so remove trigger this complete box is something that we want to get rid of so we can go and delete this you can remove this trigger yep so now we go and add a trigger and we say you should always send an email to developers or recipient list and we can configure the advanced settings here who are the recipients so we will say it is reply to also we will say being zero in at gmail.com sorry this is the person who is sending the email content type here we specify this subject we leave as it is content we leave as it is yep. and we have to make the same changes okay now since we have made those changes at the bottom we don't even need to change them here it should be fine even if we don't specify anything over here because this is the same set of settings that we have given here the only thing that we have to change is we have to change here pre-send script because this is where we attach the report file to this uh, to this mail so these are the two lines of code that we have to copy and paste here so these lines will make sure that they are inserting our report in the body of the message we save now our CI is configured to send an email let's hit build now and if you want to see the progress of the build like this is typically people can go to the console and see where we are with respect to build so as a developer or a tester this output is more meaningful and it is available to us on console of Jenkins and anyone can go and look at it so this is it keeps everyone posted what is going on into the system right now whether the test have triggered if they have triggered what step they have reached so this is the answer to the weight that developer or product owner may be having on our test suite or we may be having as a tester that where the test have reached till now so now we see it says email was triggered and I have received an email let's go and take a look at the email that I got so awesome this email is reaching here it says this is the today's uh, email result of the Jenkins test that we have run great so it is telling all the four test cases failed login with blank password is passing fail login with blank username is passing with invalid credentials and with valid credentials